what's the infection nodulation process with, uh, in, in, with rhizobium and legumes? Infection, nodulation, and tooth fixation. So this process is, is very specific, and it, it is uh, and it is actually a stepwise process. Uh, so first, the first step is infection. The bacteria actually are attracted to the roots, uh, the germinating seedling of, of that specific rhizobium. And when they do, they congregate around that root hair and they form something called an infection thread. It's a very interesting process in that the, as the bacteria congregate around that root hair, that the, the root hair itself starts enfolding on itself. And when it does, the back, it's, it's actually forming a tube or a thread that's going to go down into the main cortex of the root. It, it's kind of forming a nice pathway for these bacteria to, to, to actually congregate and actually uh, uh, go into the actual main cells of the roots, called the cortical cells. Once they reach that area, they proliferate. in that area, and they actually start changing form. They, they change a form from these free-living bacteria into something called a bacteroid. As they do this, the cells themselves start changing and forming almost a tumor, and that tumor like project, uh, that, that tumor like form is called the nodule. So what you have, the nodule is forming, it's forming like a tumor on that root, it's just the proliferation of those cortical cells. The bacteria are all in those cells, they're changing form too, uh, into what's called a bacteroid. As, as it continues to develop, that bacteroid also starts producing an enzyme called nitrogenase. This is actually the N2 fixing enzyme, the nitrogen fixing enzyme. So this is the enzyme capable of taking atmospheric nitrogen, N2, reducing it to an amino acid, which will finally become protein for metabolism and growth in the plant. A critical step, though, is that oxygen, which is in the atmosphere too, actually competes for sites on that enzyme. So the bacteroid and the nodule actually produce.